Okay, now one more special guest, very special guest, Julie Gauthier, who's a free diver and who's going to come and show her wonderful film. So let's hear it for Julie Gauthier, please. Free diver, film director, and artist. So this is all about leaving gravity behind and what swimming, don't you have an experience as a free diver and all that swimming in the ocean has brought to you. And you were telling me yesterday that it's taught you about the importance of slowing down. Can you tell us a little bit about that before we watch your film? Yes, uh, that's a good example of my work and how I can work with brands and uh, to deliver uh, a message and um, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm into women power and powering and, uh, and of course ecology. So these two things that I really want to talk about. And I have, um, I have a talent uh, is to inspire. Maybe because I'm a free diver and because right. I, I'm always in the water. And what water taught me is that you slow down it forces you to slow down. And I use it in my daily life also. Um, I think this is the only thing we should do now, uh, is slowing down. Okay, we're all gonna slow down, slow, slow a bit more. And we're going to watch another film that you made. Ama, uh, is there a few words you'd like to say before we watch this short yeah, film? Yeah, sure. I, I made this beautiful uh, commercial uh, because of this previous movie I made that is a personal uh, work. It's my artwork uh, and it's helping me to also help uh, all the people. And AMA is about uh, resilience, about uh, woman power and how um, we can... Um, how can I say that? Like, uh, be heard, maybe? No, not be heard, but uh, when we're desperate, there's always a solution. And us women, uh, we are very strong at that. And we should not forget that um, we are uh, giving birth and we have to protect life. And I think it's the good time and it's a perfect time for women to take back that power uh, and tell the, tell the world of protecting life on Earth. And AMA is really an ode to that power, to the power of women. And so we have to wake up. Right, well, let's uh, watch AMA, if we can uh, start now.
So why do I do what I do? I do it because I love to touch people. And I think by touching people, it's the only way to lead to action. And today, um, I want all of us to take action into the uh, future and protecting life. And the best way for it, again, you know, by beauty, by showing how humanity is beautiful, how life, how nature is beautiful. It's the only message to, to share and to say, slow down, come back to the inside, come back to yourself, and you'll know the answer, and you need to share the answer that we have to act now, and I want to give my voice and give my talent to all of you that are here and to help the to raise awareness about the urgency to act now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Julie. We'll continue. So, Julie, you... Um, you come from this beautiful island in the Indian Ocean, the island of uh, Réunion. And I was wondering, you, you're a free diver, a free diver, and you've seen firsthand, very close up, the ocean around, the, the, the sea, the sea floor, the seabed, the ocean bed. How has it changed over the last 20 years? I've seen everything. I, I traveled a lot and um I saw the corals disappearing um, and at some point I thought my daughter would never see live corals anymore but I also saw it coming back so there is hope there's always hope and we should not be desperate we should not look at what's uh, bad can happen we should act every day for hope because what what else can we do um, so um, let's start to look at the good side and uh, step by step do the best we can. Always talking about impact, what the impact of, of what we do, even if we try to do our best, we will 
always have an impact, a bad impact. And we think about that, we don't do anything. So I think we should just do our best because uh, we cannot be perfect. There's no such thing to be perfect. We just should do the best we can. Right, so the, the last question I asked to the three who are here before you, and it'll be the same one, but I think you've just answered it, is what's one concrete, practical thing that each of us can do here to change now? What can we do? We have to come back to the center. We have to come back to what's around us, because each of us, we cannot change the old world, but we can change our own world, what's around us, and, and change small things. And we, if we all change small things, if we get grounded, if we eat what uh, is growing in our land, if we drink the water from our mountains, if we do simple things, it's a huge step already. Thank you. Julie Gauthier, thank you so much. Thank you.